Hello and welcome to everyone watching the Written in Melanin channel. Wherever this day may have found you, I am glad that you are here. My name is Chelsea, also known as CM Lockhart, and I am here to bring some melanin to your pages. This is a new series on the channel called the Melanin Spotlight. And like everything related to Written in Melanin Publishing, this is designed to make you guys aware of some amazing books written by black authors that you may or may not already know about. These are books by all types of published authors. Some I've read, others I haven't, but all of them are worth a second look and a chance. If you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on the channel. With that being said, let's get into this. So the first book on this list is called Forever Ain't Enough by Jay Shari. This book is about Harlem Daniels and Brianna Bryant. They fall in love quickly when Harlem comes into town, but Brianna's past doesn't stay in the past, and so she must make a choice between it and the future in front of her. This book is available on Amazon for $2.99, so you guys feel free to check it out. The second book on the list is We Are Immeasurable by B.L. McGrew. And if you guys have been on the channel for any length of time, then you know that I absolutely love this book. I reviewed it and interviewed the author, so you can check those out on the channel if you want more details. But this book follows Maisie, a blind girl, and Barnaby as they fall in love and deal with all the things that come with that. They are seniors in high school, and this book is really cute, really sweet. I absolutely adore it. It made me laugh, it made me cry, and I highly recommend it if you're into YA romance. The book is available on Amazon for 99 cents, and you can also purchase the heartback from Bookshop. All right, the next book on the list is called Thin Line Between Love and Success by Brie Wright. This story follows Femi, who focuses on herself and her career when she decides that her heart simply just cannot take anymore. And then in comes Brendan, who is looking for someone to enjoy his life with. Their paths cross when he is on a reality show that Femi is working on, but she is not keen on the idea of risking everything that she's worked for to be with him. So will they, won't they? Who knows, what will Femi choose? This book is available on Amazon and it is free if you have Kindle Unlimited, so check it out if you guys have the chance. All right, next up is A Thin Line by D.L. White. This is an enemies to lover story about Angie and Preston, two people who don't know that they are still in love. Their mutual friends are getting married and they are forced to cooperate to make sure that the wedding is perfect. All of this is a plot to get them back together, but the question is, will it work? This is another will they, won't they book, enemies to lovers, but if you're into that type of thing, I highly suggest checking it out. DL White also has plenty of other books for you guys to check out if you like this one or her work in general. You can pick up the Kindle edition of this book for $2.99. All right, book number five, and this is the book that I'm going to say is most highly recommended on this list. I've most recently read it, and so we'll call this the highlight of the list, and that is The Layover by Katrina Jackson. This is a short story that follows the story of Lena and Tony as they get to know each other during her layover in her hometown. They have been flirting online for a while, but when they get in person, it's a completely different thing. And while she's home, Lena starts to realize that although she's a travel blogger and she loves what she does and she loves all of the things that have come her way, that she is running from a lot of things. And while she is in town, in her hometown, she realizes that there are a few things that she really needs to stop running away from and just face head on. I really enjoyed the story. It was so just cute and wonderful and it has a strong female lead and like, I highly recommend it. I just very highly recommend it. If you like quick romantic reads, um, this is a black love story. So both the main character and the love interest are black and I stand that. So check it out if that is what you're into. You can pick it up on Amazon. Um, I grabbed it when she had a sale, but I know that it is very reasonably priced and she also has a lot of other bodies of work. So if you like romance, there are a ton of things to check out. So Katrina Jackson on Amazon, give it a shot. All right, so the next three books on the list, I feel like have to be mentioned together because they're all part of the Lessons in Love series. They're written by three different authors, but they all go together. 
So the first book is called Road to Love and is written by Nicole Falls. And it follows the characters of Emerson and Roosevelt as they are on a road trip back to their hometowns. The second book is called Acting on Love by Tay Russ. And it follows Rocky and Seth as they try to figure out their relationship under the spotlight that fame casts when Seth's words puts them in an awkward situation, we'll say. And the last book is called In Love, and it was written by Bailey West. And it follows the story of Charlene and Wesley, who were teenage sweethearts, who see each other again at their 15-year class reunion after, of course, they break up. So... Like I said, these three books go together. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read them for free through that. Um, I highly recommend that you check them out. I know that all of them have other bodies of work outside of the lessons in love. So if you enjoy it, check them out. So the next book on this list is I Want to Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest, because honestly, this list of romance books would not be complete if I was not telling you guys to go buy a book by Christina Forrest. I absolutely love her work. Um, her first book, I Want to Be Where You Are, is a sweet, cute, fluffy romance about two teenagers on a road trip to claim their futures for themselves. We did a review of her book and we interviewed her, so both of those are available on the channel now. She will also have her second interview released on August 25th, which is when her second book, Now That I Found You, releases. So check back for that as well. But honestly, I love her, I love her work. If you like black YA romance, that is definitely someone I recommend picking up. All right, so the last book on this list is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janata Petrus. If I messed up her name, please forgive me, but her book follows the story of two teen girls, Audrey and Mabel. One gets sent to live with her father once her mother catches her with her secret girlfriend, and the other is trying to figure out what's going on with her feelings. This story follows their romance and how their bond is stronger than anything this world can conjure and is as vast as the blackness between the stars. This is a queer romance between two girls, so be mindful of that when you pick up this book, but I thought it would make a nice addition to this list since it is Pride Month. So I will be picking it up probably later this week if I can fit it onto my TBR because there are a lot of things that I'm actually supposed to be reading right now that I've been procrastinating on that I should probably stop. But that is a different video, a different rant. If any of these books piqued your interest, then please, please, please check them out. There are links to all of them down in the description box below. And these are just a few books that I wanted to let you guys know about. But remember that you cannot be passive in supporting Black authors. You have to be vigilant. You have to look for them. And this is me helping you do that. So check them out. Read their books. Love them. That's all I got for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will leave links to where you can purchase my book, Keeping Promises, and follow me, C.M. Lockhart, and my company, Written in Melanin Publishing, on social media. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. There are new videos on the channel every week. If you love books by Black authors, consider supporting us through Patreon. Every penny goes to supporting Black authors and bringing more of their books to the masses and making more people aware of the great works that they're creating. There is a link in the description box below if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I hope your days are lovely and your books are interesting. Bye!